So today we're going to make reality be whatever I want it to be. We just take this dice here and then we can change any of the numbers that we see. For example, the enemy's health. So we can drop that down to four in that section. And then we just strike him once. And that's that section entirely taken out. That was really good. And then a crossbow shot and he's Ooh. dead. So now we get new cards like a blunderbuss. Ooh, with a really good reload. So when we face a couple of crows, we should probably use this again because why not? So your health section there becomes five. And then we'll just block a few times and reload the crossbow. We'll take a little bit of damage, but it's not so bad Ow. because now we have a blunderbuss to just line it up with the bird and bam. Oh, that was amazing. I love these little drawings. Now, hopefully we get a good dice roll to damage this crow. Ooh, eight damage there. Excellent. That's a dead crow. So now in the next turn, we get the blunderbuss back like so. Boom. And then we'll need to block a few times as well just to match the damage that's coming in. Ooh, and now he's only gonna deal three damage because he's weak. That's good enough for me. Shoot with the crossbow and strike you once. Excellent. Tactic reload. This is good for the ammo cards. And something else that we can do is take this dice and maybe get some more money out of this. Hey, like six monies. I like that. So when we go to the shop, we have more money to say upgrade the dice and then buy a revolver. I like it. Now we have a wolf and a crow this time and the wolf has some very funky teeth. Must be British. Well, we have a quick answer for wolves like this. Just shoot him once. Oh, but he dodged it. Well, that's just rude, but at least he's weaker. Now we're just going to add some blocks so we can survive this. And there's the revolver. Okay, so we need to take one of these cards and change the mana type. Now we can cast it, dealing damage to random targets. Oh, ooh, beautiful there. That was really good. And then we can reload reloadable cards here. Or do we need block? We probably need block. Unless we take this dice here and then reduce the crow's health to something low enough to take him out. Four? That should work. So we just strike you there. Boom, perfect. And now we'll survive the wolf who throws us all into the attacks. Ooh, and there's two more reloads. So it's a good time to use this. Perfect. And now the revolver's reloaded too? Ooh, I like this. Okay, hopefully it goes good against the wolf. Just bam. Oh, one shot though, but that was really powerful. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of damage, but that's fine by me. <laughs> because we just need a good hit to take out the wolf. Hopefully we get it here. Aw, oh, I missed. Let's try again with a revolver. Bam! Nice! One and done. This card is free, and it gives us mana. I like that. Or we can just draw three cards with it. I think that's the best thing here. And they're both doing the same thing, so let's take the crossbow and shoot you to break your focus. Ooh, tactic reload. Don't mind if I do. The revolver. Oh, we can't use it this time. At least we have the blunderbuss, so we can strike you for good things. And then let's go ahead and reduce your big health number to, come on, something low, five. Yeah, I'm good with that. They're gonna poke me for a little bit, but it's not too bad because now we have the blunderbuss again to just go whoop bam But he's not dead outright yet. Well, now he is. Oh, this is gonna be good. We can use the memorandum again to add the blue mana this time, which lets us cast the revolver. And bam! Oh, I love it so much. Good stuff. More ammo cards, and this one gives block. All right, we'll come up here to this number, or this fight, rather. This is a Woody. He has a lot of health. Let's use a charge here to change that. Oh, down to three. That is nice, because we can just shoot you once. Boom, which he's not happy about. And then we'll give ourselves some block, and then blunderbuss a little bit. Boom, and that reduces the damage he's gonna do. But now he's gonna apply some burns, so we need to break this health segment. Although we don't have attack cards here. All right, so let's just tank up with some block. And then for a future endeavor, we're gonna drop his last health segment down to six. That dealt 19 damage outright. That was amazing. And we have so much block that we don't really need to worry about anything. Oh yes, revolver's back. Sorry, Woody, you're not the cowboy you used to be. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, good damage there. And then we can re reload. Mm, we're gonna block instead. He dealt a- oh, okay, that was actually a lot of damage. But we can break his health there, and then some more. That fight is done. Oh, this one looks fun. This one gives a lot of block. Yes, please. I only gained one gold from that fight. Unacceptable. Change the number to <laughs> two. Okay, 
Fine. At least we get some new relics out of this. Hmm, this drumstick seems really good. But let's see if we can up the health value that it gives us. Something good, something big. Two I'm again? Really? Right I'm doing that again. I need to see a bigger number there. Eight! Perfect! That's gonna be really good for me. Now we have an event down here, which is village rights. They're in the middle of some weird ritual. Target enemy loses 40 HP if I win this? What? Or I just get a curse. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, something good. Yes, I got it! I got the ritual dagger. Oh, that's beautiful. Dodge villager swiftly snatched the good stuff. Run for it. <laughs> Oh, that's a really powerful card. Okay, now I'm gonna come down here and rest. We have a bit of a turnaround to do, but we should be fine, because I need to heal. And we have a shop again. So we can upgrade the dice one more time to a D10. Okay, this empty battery gives extra mana. Seems really good, but it's expensive. Unless we just reduce that value. Oh, I probably shouldn't have upgraded the dice first. Okay, 10. That still doesn't help me. So I'm just going to take cover. And thankfully here we outrun the purple stuff by jumping forward to this fight, which is a Minotaur Rogue. It's like some weird D&D &D thing. But here, Ritual Dagger. Do I even have that mana? The card needs two of the dark stuff. Well, that's useless then. All right, well, let's just go ahead and have fun with the revolver as much as we can. Ooh, eight damage there. Okay. And this last card will pull down some block. He doesn't attack unless we cast one more card. So let's just, hmm, convert this to mana there. Okay, tactic reload here for some goodness. And the crossbow actually has two bolts in it. Wow. Oh, this will break his focus. So now he won't attack us. And the one dice is here. So let's use you. Ooh, we could add ourselves a lot of charges to the ability dice. That seems like a worthy investment. Oh, especially if it goes up to seven. That's some planning ahead right there. And then we'll blunderbuss you. Bam. And then we'll end the turn there. Okay, he's still going to do that. Oh, wait. We can change that. So we have to draw more cards from... <laughs> <laughs> He's never going to attack because we have to cast 12 cards for him to do that. Oh, beautiful. You are in trouble, sir. And then strike there. Excellent. Keep moving on. I want to see that dagger again. Oh, yes, there it is. All right, we turn it to mana and then we'll use it next time. Hopefully. Until then, though, we're just going to have fun here with the revolver. It's only loaded once, but that was still really good. <laughs> And now he's impatient. That's that's awesome. Except that's a lot of damage. Not awesome. So let's do some things here. We're gonna reduce his health. Maybe we can take him out. Oh, sick. Is that is that six or nine? Nine. And then the crossbow's here. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Oh, it doesn't have the blue stuff. But we use this to add mana. And then we tactical reload. Let's just use this to hopefully reduce the damage that we're gonna get. Oh no, 12. All right, we'll just game block here. At least we reduce the damage that much. Oh, I could have blasted him with the blunderbuss. Oh well. Man, he was impatient. And we lost all that curse mana. Oh, that's gonna be difficult to use. But we can strike him here and then turn this into mana so we can get that violet smoke block. Uh, only six? That's it? Well, we can do that again because it copied itself for, okay, that much. That's fine by me. I took no damage there. So now the crossbow's here. Get on out of here, you rogue. Another sleight of hand card sounds good. So next we get an event. Oh, a caravan. But we don't have enough money. We can roll ourselves some more money. Please be good to me on that. Hey, that's enough for another blunderbuss. Don't mind if I do. And then we'll rest up so we can get maximum health and few more fights. Okay, two wolves. Not the worst. First things first, let's give ourselves some extra charges up here. Oh, we just got one more charge. That was a waste. But let's go ahead and take cover so we can get some nine block here and then strike the wolf once. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, he dodged it. Do your worst. Your bites are nothing. Your teeth don't even line up right. All right, so let's discover a magic dice card. Ooh, some steel luck is free. So we can give the wolf some... Ah! You reacting jerk. All right, fine. Just for that, you get the bad luck. And then I'll give myself a reload so I get some extra luck. And I'm going to shoot you. Bam. Oh, beautiful. And the blunderbuss is here, so I'm going to shoot you again. Ha! Although they're still going to deal quite a bit of damage. Let's get some mana on this turn. So at least we can cast some block. And so they only deal two damage there, but I gain two health back because of the drumstick. That's really good. This ritual dagger would be so nice. I need to see it be used. So let's reload. Ooh, get the smoker because that's really good. Come on, blunderbuss. Yes. And then hopefully strike you down. Yes, we got rid of one wolf. That's really good for us. And the revolver is here again with full ammo. This wolf's about to have a very 
bad day, hopefully, because I'm super lucky. One, two, three, four. Four shots and he's dead. Woo. Ooh, brainstorm. That gives some good manas there. But now we have an elite enemy to fight. Thankfully, we have full health. Oh, it's a scarecrow with some crow buddies. Something is very wrong. Nobody's attacking right away. Oh, so this guy uses the crows for defense. So we need to take out the ads. If that's the case, we're just gonna stack up some block while we're at it. Ooh, increased mana capacity. I like that idea. Hey, that actually might mean I get a better shot at getting the dagger activated. So let's use it to, ooh, we get, wow, a lot of mana increase. And then we get some block. 10 block to begin with. Ooh. And you know what? Let's just convert this mana and do it again for eight more block. Yes. And the smoker as well. And then, yeah, just reload. Oh, it's limited though. Okay, we have a lot of blocks stored up. Fear? He's gonna spread fear? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and start doing some damage. First, we'll get some sleight of hand to make ourselves lucky by stealing somebody else's luck. So we strike you and then hopefully deal good damage there. Did things just heal? I think they just healed. We also didn't do a whole lot of damage. That's upsetting. For so we'll just strike the crow again and then give ourselves some more block. Gotta keep the block up. Oh, there's the fear. What do those fear cards do? When drawn, add... <gasps> That's the curse energy I need. Let's use this to draw three cards. Hopefully it's both of the fears. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We can use a dagger. Who has the most health right now? You do. Go ahead and get <laughs> ritualized. Oh, beautiful. And there the scarecrow lost some health. Not a whole lot though. I also don't think we can use the dice to reduce him. Sadly, we can't use this card to convert mana. So let's go ahead and strike this crow. And oh, the revolver is here. Mm, I can't use a revolver yet. At least I don't want to. I want to use this crossbow and just take out this crow entirely. Yes, let's use the die to give ourselves some more dice charges. Oh yes, 12 charges. That's enough for six dice changes. And let's just blunderbuss another crow. Whoa, bam. We're looking really good here. Here. More fear? Your fear only makes me stronger. Oh, and we can increase mana limit again? Yes, please. That's a big mana bar right there. And then we shall strike a crow. Hiya! All right, let's use the ritual dagger to convert mana now because it'll be a bit before we get it next time. And then one more strike there. Now he's plus one in everyone's numbers. Or no, he just summoned more allies. Oh, if only I had the ritual dagger here. So here, we'll just take out that crow. Bam! He took more damage. And then we get some free block here. Blunderbuss you. Whoop bam All right, we have a lot of cursed mana. I really hope we get that dagger again. But now we're starting to get some damage. Thankfully, the drumstick is keeping up with it. We'll convert some mana points this turn so we can get some block back with the phantom smoke. And he just plussed everyone's numbers. That's fine by me. Now we can do this again with some conversion change. 25 block here. These crows are not gonna be ready for that dagger. If I get it, the scarecrow is given a lot of fear. And they're also stacking up a lot of attacks. <gasps> There's a dagger, yes. You have the most health. Hiya! Excellent. And a simple conversion trick like this. And the revolver is ours. Hiya! Oh, beautiful strikes. So now the scarecrow's down two sections of health, but we have so many fear cards. My goodness. It looks like that's all we can do this turn, but I'm feeling good about things. Even though we're losing kind of what we are able to do, but at least we have the blunderbuss. So let's attack the weaker crow and then keep our block up as much as we can. Even though this one is going to hurt because the crows are given a lot of attacks here. Ow. Oh, we only lost five health. That wasn't so bad. Let's take out a section of your health because that should mean I draw a card. Hard. Yes. Yes, the ritual dagger. Get rid of you entirely. Oh, beautiful. And now we have more things that we can do. Uh, yeah, divergent thinking again. More maximum mana. And now we can take out another crow. Beautiful. Now the scarecrow only has nine health left. Oh, and we have the dagger again. Get rid of you. So now we just need to take out two more crows for this guy to go down and keep striking. I have so many cards in my hand. My goodness. Move on, please. Ah, yes. Give me more fear. It only makes me stronger. I think we're at the maximum count of mana that we can get. We also have a bunch of weird ones that I can't really use. That's a bit annoying. And there's a lot more crows summoned there. Fine by me. Tactic reload. Hopefully get some good weapons in hand or I guess not. But hopefully we deal enough damage to you. Well, bam Yes. Okay, we just need to take out one more crow. But we're gonna need some block to keep up with things. And now we just pick any old crow like this one maybe. Strike you once and then shoot ya. And yes, we have the ritual dagger. Is it even worth doing it to you. That's kind of overkill. Let's just take a fresh one. Bam! Yes, the scarecrow's down. Now we just have to take out the remaining crows. And we have a revolver now. So, yeehaw, crows. Aw, uh, just once? Well, they're both kind of doing the same thing, so let's just take you out. And we got another strike. Oh, but I can't use it. 
crow can't even deal damage to me. That was so good. You're done. Really good stuff there. Hmm, the jacket seems really good. Should I use a charge for it? I think I will. When battle starts, hopefully we get some more. Aw, oh, just one? No, 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 no. I'm not going for a lower value there. There, six. I can go with six. And then some new cards. Oh, look at these fun little doodles. Some kitty cats. Ooh, this one heals at the end of a turn. I like that idea. All right, we get one little rescue. And then we have a boss here. Oh dear, this is gonna be rough. Oh my gosh, it's a pig king. He's got more tusks than Ganondorf. I guess the pig is Ganon, isn't it? Oh well, doesn't matter. He's gonna go down either way. If the check, he'll prepare a heavy attack. Oh, I see. Well, he has a lot of health numbers here. We can change that. Just drop you down to <laughs> one in the first section. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll just do that for each of his health sections. And then it's eight there. Oh. Oh, this feels like cheating. I love it. And then nine health there. And then we can do it one more time for one of these 50 sections down to eight. Holy, Holy moly. moly. So now we strike him and that breaks his focus. I feel like he's gonna do a lot of damage though. So let's prepare some smoke. Probably should have put this down so I could get some things, but at least we can give the king some bad luck. So hopefully his fatigue doesn't get reduced. Oh, it did. I've chosen my fist. Okay, so he punches and that doesn't do anything, thankfully. Oh, the revolver is here. Oh yeah, we do have another blunderbuss, don't we? Well, first let's use the revolver because that can really chain together well. Oh yes, oh yes, multiple health bars broken. Oh, the ritual dagger is here. I'm not sure I'll be able to use it this this time though. But here, let's use the one dice and bring back some dice charges up here. We only brought back one. That was such a bad roll. But he's not attacking still, so let's just convert the mana right now because that can stack up later. And then we'll shoot him with this blunderbuss. So he hits ow, but we heal back right away. That's super good. Unstable portal? Wait, a bucket of lava? What sort of whoa? Wow, these are some good cards. Let me use that, please. So we literally reach into a portal and oh, no way. We can get Jonathan. Yeah, he's gonna strike with the glaive. That's no problem because we can just throw Jonathan at him for 18 damage. Oh, if only we had a man to strike again. At least we have a crossbow. Bam, right in the face. So we still get a little bit of damage, but we're fine. And we keep Jonathan across turns. That is so good. Man, he's got a lot of fatigue. Ooh, and he's gonna get a lot of damage here too if we just reload with the blunderbuss. Bam! <laughs> so much damage. And now we can get some blue mana. Oh, check this out. So he played this one, which gives mana, but we can discard to get some more mana. And now we have enough mana to cast Jonathan again for six... 13 damage and it doesn't really matter what he's gonna do because we're just gonna shoot him like the wild pig that he is bam oh we took out the pig king wow and these cards are getting fancy we'll take sparks because that sounds cool and now it's just a matter of outrunning the storm here we get another relic Ooh, cast a card deal random damage to enemies yes please and now we have escaped the storm so much for the pig king royal city seems to be a bit away need to cross the forest first okay but the demo ends here man that is a really Really good demo. I love the different things you can do with dice. So y'all should make sure to wishlist the game. And that game is Dice-O-Mancer. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. That was awesome. If you want to see more of this game when it comes out, then make sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to Intern. And thanks to the channel members, including Bread, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Devion X, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, The Real Nickname, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drew Belong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, Daggerty, and Sands.